English Tim here, continuing with my ultimate fighting guide. This is the minutes before you fight, and I'm focusing on the Hero Council. Now this applies to both Solar and to the Lunar Kingdoms, so let's check out the uh, best advice for getting that set up right now. If you are enjoying my content, please do click on that subscribe button, it does help support me in future development. So you may also want to uh, get people's real life contact details, um, people aren't in the game all the time and there's plenty of players who will be offline and um, it's worth having a line group or uh, a discord group or a uh, you know, old fashioned phone number if you need to text somebody or message somebody to get them, uh, get them online. So if their city's on fire and they're being hit over and over and losing huge amounts of resources, it's worth having those details to let them know. Now this is especially important if you've got one big player or a few big players who really can change the tide of battle then it's worth having their contact details, check with them first, make sure they're happy to be contacted about the game but if they're a big player they've been probably committing a lot of time to it so I'm sure that uh, if you uh, if you ask they'll probably say yes they're happy to come online if, uh, if they're not asleep and uh, to come and help out. That one big player could, uh, could protect the entire alliance and uh, you know, fight back and give you some huge benefits. So make sure you've confirmed those details before, uh, before you start off. So looking at the hero council now, if you check to make sure that you've got your best fighting heroes in, now that's the only exception to that, is the master of strategy where there is a difference. So I will take you through that in a moment. So if you go to the game and if you go to your heroes at the bottom and appoint heroes, then in these six spaces, so Master Enforcer, Herald, and War, and then the High Constable, Keeper of the Seal, and Master of Arms, you should put in your best fighting heroes. Just as a note, it is only these skills here. It's not the unique skill that would apply when somebody is appointed to your Hero Council. The unique skill does not apply. So what you've got is, effectively, you can look at your current hero and look at your other heroes, see who's got the highest stats for the troops that you want to support. So try and pick your uh, your best hero. Just as a side note, that once uh, once you've got a better hero, there's really no point unlocking these skills here. For for me, Sir Bedivere, he's no longer one of my good heroes. So if I unlock these skills, I'm just wasting the fragments as you'll never put him back in the Hero Council again. So don't waste fragments on that, keep those fragments, you can melt them down and use them for hero experience for other heroes, or you can use them to increase his star level. Now his star level may still benefit on the solo game. In the Knight of the Lake, you've got the Kingdom Bounty, and in the Kingdom Bounty you do need heroes of specific types with specific star levels. So you pick your uh, your best heroes here, and you can always make some upgrades to improve those further. So you can increase their uh, star level; that will increase these these uh, skills. And uh, if you increase the normal level, so he's level 31, that will have no effect on these skills. So I'll show you now. This will increase the march capacity. It won't change these skills here. They are based on this this skill upgrade here and also the uh, star level. So increasing the star level will boost this skill or you can add to the skill using this, uh, this upgrade function here. So as noted, it's only the skills and not the unique skills that will apply for uh, when you apply somebody to the hero council. So just as a note, if you check out uh, the wall, this is where you can use your unique character skills. If you go to wall and wall defense, now you have the choice of two heroes. Now the resonance skill does apply here, so if you can have sk uh, heroes with matching uh, matching skills there, then the resonance effect will apply. So what you'll get is this will always apply whichever hero you have, the base effect. However, you will not get the uh, the extra skill here, which is in this case the glory skill. That will only apply if you have two glory heroes. So you can see here two glory heroes. Now for the flame version, you get the, uh, so if you click on here and here, the gallantry skill, you can now activate that. You can see it popping up here. The second I change to another hero that's not got the same, uh, the same gallantry skill, this will now stop the resonance from happening. So really important that you match your heroes wherever possible and uh, you get that extra boost here. Now you can compare which ones you want, or you could leave the heroes blank, you can just take them out. 
However, the game will select two random, well, not random, but two heroes, and they will not be generally your best heroes. So it's much better to select your two best heroes that you want to stay in your castle. You may take your two very best heroes out fighting, so this may be your second, your third, and fourth best heroes. Again, if you can match them, that would be great. It totally depends how you're fighting to see how likely you are to be hit, but you definitely don't want to leave really weak heroes on your wall. It could cost you a lot. So make sure you set those wall heroes before you go out. Now on Sola, you've got uh, the ability to switch your master of strategy in your uh, hero council, and uh, you can improve your hospital capacity that way. So I'll take you to the game now. And if we go to heroes and appoint heroes, the master of the strategy is this bottom one here. So you have a few different heroes that can help. You've got uh, Yvain who can help with healing speed, so that's useful after you've been attacked and you need to start healing up troops. But before your attack, you do have hospital capacity boosts from Sir Baldwin. And then you have healing speed from uh, Sir Pelias, and you also have healing speed here from Sir Grifflet. He also has the hospital capacity boost as well. So putting them in when you're fighting is definitely beneficial, especially if you're going to be fighting long enough to get lots of losses. So I'm, any of those heroes is beneficial when you're fighting. You might uh, think that you're only sending out 150,000 troops and you uh, won't fill up your hospitals, but whilst you're out fighting, somebody might hit you. Suddenly your hospitals will be overflowing, so this could uh, save a lot of lives from uh, certain events where you get permanent deaths when you exceed your hospital capacity. It could save a lot of troops. So you've also got the Covenant that you can uh, that you can set up. Now this is, uh, you can actually activate all the Covenants at once at this point in the game. So uh, just look for the different pairs. You've got the question mark here to give you a bit more information. So you've got to have the right heroes and at least two of them for most of these skills, I think. They're all two currently. Yeah. So you need to appoint two out of the uh, four heroes on offer and they come in uh, come in groups so you should be able to activate a number of these once you start to uh, improve the number of heroes you have in your council. Some quite powerful boosts so improving your rally capacity by 180,000. Army damage that's always a really powerful one so uh, you've got minus 10% on damage received plus 10% on damage inflicted and uh, that happens again here for this one so you've uh, got some great great benefits for the covenant now on luna there are substantially more variations that you can play with so you can boost your hospital capacity march capacity rally capacity and you also have the covenant as well so the bottom left hero here this uh, if you're in a mega rally it's worth considering using maleagant he will increase your hospital capacity by 24,800 and during things like Kingdom Raid your hospital capacity is increased by two and a half times so that could be a massive improvement in the number of troops you can save. However if you're not in a mega rally and using somebody else's stats it may well be better to use your best fighting hero. You'll have better stats, you'll lose more troops from those going to hospital but if you uh, have higher stats then you should fight better and hopefully lose fewer troops. You can experiment with this and see what's uh, what's the best for you and uh, what gets you the best results and there's a lot of good fighting heroes now when you're about to leave and um, this is something i will cover when you're setting up your march but you've also got the heroes here who you'll need to tweak so you can have a march capacity boost of up to twenty-five thousand with sir gawain and uh, he can also increase your rally capacity too and your reinforcement capacity so if you're planning on defending and defending your city instead of going out that's a very powerful way of increasing the number of people you can have inside your city you've also got the march capacity boost from lady isabel and uh, yep so consider which of those is the most useful especially when you set your march off and then you can always switch when the march is en route now you can also put your best fighting heroes into the High Constable and Keeper of the Seal. Uh, neither one of those have any special traits, so that's uh, just choose your best fighting heroes. And also you've got the ability to increase your healing speed with quite a few of the heroes here. So make your choice if you want to keep building up your stamina, you can use Sir Gaharis. And uh, otherwise you can switch to one of your healing heroes as and when you need to uh, do your healing. 
So you've also got the Covenant. There's a lot more different variations and uh, there's uh, a lot of different ways that you can um, maximize the damage and the like you can get. So have a play with it. Try and focus on your best heroes that you can at that time to maximize your preferred stats. Thanks for watching this video. It has uh, been about the Hero Council and what you can do to maximize your performance when fighting. Don't forget to switch back after you finish fighting to get the best boosts for uh, for farming and anything else that you're doing. Now, if you uh, if you do like my content, please do click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to receive updates about my future videos. Or you can catch me on Discord and uh, you can send screenshots and the like. You can see me here. I am English Tim Hash Twenty Two Thirty. Otherwise, uh, if you want to donate, that would also be much appreciated. That will help support me to make more videos in future. Uh, my details will be in the description for, uh, for the video. So if you check out the description down below, there'll be a link there that you can click on. Otherwise, join me in the next video. And in that next part, it's still the minutes before you fight. We'll be covering some critical things, uh, things like temporary accolades, tem temporary re relics, which are hugely important. They can really make a difference in your attack strength. Also cover spells and other items of that type. So look forward to joining me then. King of Avalon, play now.